Hey you all, this is Jennifer, and you are watching the Motherland channel. So guys, the next time we hit up the grocery store, we might be in for a bit of sticker shock. Uh, this year is just something else. Between these crazy droughts, massive storms, and what happened recently in Hawaii, which I'd rather not touch on, getting enough food on the table is a struggle. And to top it off, it doesn't look like these prices are dropping anytime soon. It's wild to think that some of our go-to items might even double in price compared to last year. In this video, we'll talk about 20 foods that will have us clutching our pearls when we see the price tags in the coming months. Number 20, spinach. Spinach is pretty sensitive to things like bad weather and diseases, too much sun, and it's like, I'm out, shooting up flowers and seeds way earlier than we'd like. On the flip side, too much rain, and it's a breeding ground for diseases. And, as if that wasn't enough, the cost to pick, pack, and get it to our stores is going up, thanks to rising wages and those gas prices that are hitting all of us hard. So, don't be too shocked if you see spinach prices going up by around 9%. Number 19, chickpeas. Chickpeas are a godsend for all the plant-based peeps out there as a fab protein source, but they're feeling the pinch from these unpredictable weather changes and, of course, those ever-increasing fuel prices. Seriously, it's not just at the pump. It's affecting how we plant, water, and harvest these bad boys. So hold on to your hummus, folks, because chickpea prices might jump by around 12%. Number 18, lentils. Lentils have been gaining popularity worldwide, and for good reason, with their solid protein punch. But between unpredictable rains, annoying droughts, and some seriously wild temperature swings, these little guys are having a tough time. Plus, let's not forget our farmers' increasing costs and those pesky rising fuel prices for getting them to our plates. So, when you're whipping up your next lentil soup or dal, remember that these prices might be going up. Think around 13%. Number 17, soy milk. For my vegan friends or those who just can't with dairy, this has been a go-to drink. Made by doing a little song and dance with soybeans, soaking, grinding, boiling, and straining. It's been a fridge staple for many, but here's the tea. The price of soybeans is going up, thanks to all those pesky environmental hiccups and transport woes. Tack on the rising costs for making and moving it, and well, our morning coffee's about to feel it. Brace yourself for a potential price bump in soy milk, maybe as much as 15%. Say it isn't soy. Number 16, almonds. Health nuts know almonds are chock full of benefits, but here's the kicker, they're super thirsty. I mean, almond trees gulp down a ton of water. So with these droughts and scorching heat waves, our almond game is feeling the heat, literally. And it doesn't stop there. Farm labor costs are up, and get this, even the bees that pollinate these trees are charging more for their buzzworthy services. All of this spells a price jump for almonds, potentially around 12%. Who knew going nuts could get pricier? Number 15, maple syrup. With the planet warming up, especially those milder winters, maple trees aren't giving up their sap as generously. And of course, those ever climbing fuel prices are making everything from getting the sap out to getting that syrup to our tables more expensive. So next time you're out shopping, don't be surprised if there's a price jump of around 10% on that sweet bottle. Pancake lovers, we're in this together. Number 14, pasta. Pasta's made of wheat, and turns out wheat's pretty picky about the weather. Too hot, too rainy, or too dry, and it throws a fit, giving us less to work with. Given the funky weather we're seeing lately, wheat prices are on the rise. And just like with our other faves, 
the steps to turn that wheat into the pasta on our plates. You know, making it, packing it, shipping it, are also costing more, thanks in part to those pesky rising fuel and labor costs. So the next time you're craving some carb-loaded comfort, be prepared for a price bump, maybe around 10% for your beloved pasta. Number 13, bread. Made simply from flour, water, and a bit of magic in the baking process. Bread's feeling the heat from, well, the heat. With those wheat prices going up, thanks to Mother Nature's mood swings, the cost of churning out loaves is heading north. And just like with most things, the steps to get that bread from the oven to our toasters, like the baking, boxing, and driving it around, are costing more with the spike in labor and energy costs. So next time you're at the store, don't be too surprised if that loaf is asking for about 12% more dough from your wallet. Number 12, oats. All right, breakfast buddies, let's dive into oats, the star of our morning oatmeal or those yummy rolled oats recipes. These little grains are getting a bit pricier and here's why. Growing them has become more expensive, mostly because it costs more to run the machines and water them, all thanks to those rising fuel prices. And as if that wasn't enough, Mother Nature isn't always playing nice. So sometimes the yield isn't as bountiful as we'd hope. Add in the costs to clean, pack, and ship them out, and it's no wonder we're seeing a price hike. Next time you're topping up your oat supply, brace yourself for a potential 11% uptick in price. Time to get creative with those breakfast bowls. Number 11, potatoes. Potatoes are kind of drama queens when it comes to the weather. Too cold and they're out of there. Too hot and they just won't form those delicious tubers we love. On top of their weather woes, the cost to grow, protect, and dig them up are on the rise. Think higher wages, pricier machinery, and keeping those pesky pests at bay. And then there's the cost to get them from the farm to our fryers or ovens, especially with those fuel prices doing no favors. So when you're grabbing a bag of potatoes, prepare for possibly shelling out about 9% more. Number 10, rice. Rice isn't just food, it's life providing a huge chunk of the world's calories. But here's the lowdown. Between the fuel prices, making farming and shipping pricier, and Mother Nature throwing curveballs like floods, droughts, and wacky weather in places where rice rains, we're not getting as much as we used to. So next time you're in the rice aisle, don't be too shocked if you're forking over up to 15% more. Number nine, tomatoes. Tomatoes are a little touchy. A dry spell, hello blossom rot. Too much rain, say hi to blight. And when they're not battling the elements, there's the climbing costs of picking them and getting them to our salads and sauces, especially with those gas prices not playing nice. So next time you're tossing them in your cart, prepare to maybe spend about 10% more. But hey, what's a good pasta or salad without them, worth every penny. Number eight, apples. Apples have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the weather. A surprise frost? Say bye to those pretty blossoms. And too much rain? Hello, apple diseases. Then, once we finally get those apples off the tree, the costs of picking, packing, and shipping them to our fruit bowls keeps going up, especially with those gas prices soaring. So when you reach for your favorite variety, be ready for a potential 10% price hike. But let's be real, a good apple, still totally worth it. Number seven, oranges. Oranges might be delightful and zesty, but when it comes to weather, they can be quite finicky. Too hot and they're parched. A cold snap and they're frostbitten. Not enough rain and they're just not feeling it. And after they've had their drama, with Mother Nature, there's the added cost of picking and trucking them to us, 
especially with gas prices doing us no favors. So next time you're craving a fresh squeezed glass or just a juicy snack, be ready for a possible 10% jump in price. Number six, sugar. Whether it's from sugar cane or sugar beets, the path to our sugar bowls isn't always a sweet one. Those rising costs of growing, refining, and getting it to our kitchens are real. Plus, weather woes like droughts and floods, not exactly a piece of cake for those sugar crops. All this to say, next time you're looking to sweeten things up, brace yourself for an uptick about 11% more. Number five, eggs raising hens and getting those eggs to our plates is getting a bit more costly. Why? Well, feeding those ladies isn't cheap, especially when the prices of their favorite munchies, like corn and soybeans, are climbing. And if Mother Nature's mood swings upset our feathered friends, that can hit their laying game. Toss in the rising costs of running farms and getting those cartons to our fridges. And it adds up. So next time you're whipping up an omelet or baking, expect to shell out roughly 10% more. Number four, beans. From black to pinto, these protein and fiber champions are the rock stars of many meals. But here's the scoop. They can be a bit drama filled when the weather's not playing nice. Too much rain, not enough rain. It's all a balancing act for these little guys. Plus, growing and getting them from the farm to our pantry is getting pricier with fuel and manpower costs ticking up. So next time you're in the mood for a hearty chili or a bean salad, get ready to dish out about 10% more. Number three, shrimp. Shrimps are feeling the heat, quite literally. The big blue is changing. Warmer waters and some acidification issues. And, well, our shrimpy friends aren't too thrilled about that, affecting their growth and survival game. Plus, getting them from the ocean floor to our cocktail glasses isn't cheap, especially with those boat fuel costs cruising up. So, next time you're craving that shrimp scampi or shrimp cocktail, brace your wallets for about an 11% uptick. Number two, salmon. Let's talk salmon, that omega-3 superstar we all adore. But here's the ripple effect. Our finned friends are getting some hot and bothered waters and not in a good way. Changing sea conditions mess with their breeding vibes and overall survival chances. And on the other side of the net, the costs to catch them and cart them to our plates are jumping with fuel prices riding the wave up. So when you're dreaming of that grilled salmon or poke bowl, know you might be reeling in a bill about 12% higher. Number one, chicken. And lastly, let's talk about chicken. It's a world we'd favorite on dinner plates, but feeding these birds isn't easy, especially when their fave snacks like corn and soybean meal get prissier and it doesn't stop there. Caring for our feathered providers, think cozy housing, proper heating, and keeping them healthy all comes with a growing price tag. Plus, when nasty things like bird flu enter the coop, it can ruffle supply and prices alike. So next time you're thinking fried, grilled, or roasted, brace your budget for about a 9% price hike. And that's it for this video. If you know of other foods that will double in price toward the end of 2023, sound off in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the little bell icon too for more of these videos. Thanks and God bless.